Hey, what's up everyone? It's Leo here again, and as you guys might have noticed, I'm not an English speaker, I'm from Brazil, but I'll try my best though to make another video on Rainbow Six Siege. Many, many people have asked me to make a review about all the barrels we have in the game right now. Which one is the best? So I prepared a guide for you guys to understand how they are working nowadays. So here we have five different barrels. The first one is the suppressor. It basically reduces the sound, but at the same time, the weapon's damage. It doesn't change the recoil pattern, though. Unless you want to play stealthy, especially on defense, I think this barrel is useless. Then we have the flash hider, which is one of the best, if well used. This barrel reduces recoil on burst mode. It's really good on weapons with a high fire rate. Instead of shoot like crazy, you tap fire for burst to get a better accuracy. It, it's my favorite attachment for Twitch's FAMAS weapon, and I, I really enjoy it. It works really well. Then we have probably the best barrel in the game, the Compensator. It reduces the recoil spread over the time. It means it gets easier to control due to a less recoil if you keep shooting for a long time. It starts with a normal recoil, but after a second, maybe two, I don't think it gets too far, like two seconds, it gets a way more stable. The compensator works on every gun, and the best results are on those weapons with a crazy recoil, like the Toucher's AR-33 and Bugs Rifle. Then we have the muzzle brake. And when it was introduced into the game, it was too overpowered, but now it seems to be okay. The muzzle brake basically reduces the recoil, especially at the very first shot. It also fits very well to all weapons, but it turns really effective on the marksman's rifles. On the single shot mode, it improves a great accuracy. And I also like this attachment on the Blackbeard's Scar H. Finally, we have the Heavy Barrel that increases the damage at long distance, but also the recoil. I wouldn't use this attachment on attack, because the rifles are strong enough to take enemies down from long distances. On defense, though, it can enhance weak guns like Kaveras, M12 and Frost LMG, and those with small reach like the SMG-11 from Smoke. Okay, so now I will make a quick comparison here between all the barrels using an average gun, the, the Para 30H. Starting on the hip fire mode, the muzzle brake had the best performance. Now let's shoot it aiming down sight. The compensator and the muzzle brake had the best performance. On both situations, the recoil was significantly reduced. Now let's ADS, but controlling the aim. The compensator had the best performance here again. When you shoot the whole magazine, it gets super stable. Aiming downside with bursts now. As expected, the flash hider had the best performance here. And I tell you more, it had the best accuracy over all barrels when shooting at burst mode. Of course that this test may vary according to different guns, but in general these are the difference between the actual barrels on Rainbow Six Siege. Well, I hope I have helped you somehow guys, and that's it for today, have a good one, and bye amigos!